Yo, good morning. Let's roll up and over. Come on. Oh. Come across. We got pinky finger, pinky toe. Drop those shoulders, feet are parallel. Hinge at the hips. Take your time, go down nice and easy. Really hinge, brace the core. And a little bit wider side to side. Get those legs warm. We got a little bit of everything today. Put those feet right underneath those hips. Drop those shoulders, squat and squeeze through those heels. Get those arms, open up the chest. Ah, and let's hit that walkout. We're gonna have a lot of time here. Ooh, so brace those feet, drop those shoulders, hinge, walk it on down. Nice plank position. Step up and open up. Go at your own pace, side to side. Try to straighten out that back leg. Don't let it get droopy. Think about those obliques as you lift that leg to the hand. There you go. We got one more on each side. Ooh, that's what feels good. We're gonna find that plank. We're gonna find it, walk it back. Tuck that chin, roll it up nice and easy. Do a little shoulder roll front and back and start that jog. So we got a warm up, we got our push ups, and then we're gonna get into a couple blocks. We have a band block stuff there in the middle of the workout today. Jack it up. And then of course we're gonna end on that core. So close to 42 minutes. Keep jacking, keep jacking. Brace that core. We got Heisman's in three, two, and let's go. Keep your chest nice and tall. Shoulders are up, down, and back. Up, back, and down. Whatever. We got butt kickers in three, in two, and drop those knees. Really. Squeeze that pencil on those shoulder blades. Keep it tall. <coughs> We're gonna hit those steamrollers. Ooh, see what two cups of coffee does? I'm already in the yellow. We got steamrollers. Fix them nice and wide. So we do have this exercise in the workout today, but we're gonna be holding two dumbbells. Just a little bit more work for those shoulders. And we got some Frankensteins. Drop those shoulders, kick. Keep those legs nice and straight. And finish up on those mummies. There you go, those shoulders are still working. Not dropping those arms, brace the core, squeeze those glutes. Nice long spine, get your shoulders down, neck up. Three, two, shake it on out. 
22 push ups. Start on your toes, drop to your knees. Stay on your toes, start on your knees. I don't really care. I want those hands right underneath, right? Let's go. Come on. So, do you ever think about your feet when you do push ups? You should have those feet, those toes curled, that energy shooting out your heels as you drive a little bit forward and down. Brace that core, belly button to spine. Woo wee. Take that rest whenever you need it. You still got 40 seconds to go. You're done, you come up, you jack it out, you shake it out. Keep moving. You know, you know I can't talk and count at the same time. So I'm gonna say that's 21 for about 22 for me. There you go. Come on up. Shake it on out. All right, first little block of work. We got some ski swings. So two dumbbells, hinge all the way coming up to our chest with those dumbbells. And then we're gonna hit one dumbbell. We're gonna do a right reverse lunge to a right upright row. So same arm, same leg. And then we're gonna do a right oblique dumbbell in, side crunch. Pick them up. We got those ski swings. Rack them, let's go. So those feet are a little bit closer together as you hinge. Keep your back super flat. If this hurts your back at all, brace your core. And if it hurts so much that you can't do it, then I want you to do front raises. Five more. Three, two, Woo, breathe. One weight down. We're gonna keep one dumbbell. Right reverse lunge to a right upright row. Let's go. This one's 40 seconds. That's it. Oh, Nance. Nance, you got a little balance with that pull. I like it. We do have some side lunge balances in the next block. Woo, but if you want to balance, go ahead. You want to tap that foot down and pull. Whatever makes your little heart happy. I'm all about it. You got seven more seconds. Nothing too heavy here. This is a 40 second block. Three, two, breathe. Nice work. So we got that right oblique, right dumbbell. So dumbbell in your right hand. We're gonna just hit that oblique. Let's go. So you can press it all the way up or you can just keep it at that 90 degree. Whatever, whatever makes you happy. Whatever your brain thinks is easier or more challenging. Depends where you are this morning in that headspace of yours. I like holding it a little isometric. We got some presses later. Three, two, breathe. You got 12 seconds of breathing. We're gonna pick up that dumbbell. Go right back to those ski swings. Set those feet, rack those dumbbells. Three, two, let's go. Come on. Exhale. Brace that core. Wiggle those toes. You have a slight bend in those knees, but you are hinging. Nice. Come on, come on. Three, two, breathe. Put one down. We got left, upright row, left reverse lunge. Fix your feet, drop your shoulders, let's go. 
Maybe you can start off with a balance or find it eventually after you catch your breath from those swings. So shoulders still stay nice and squared. So just because you're doing that up, that balance, you're not pulling, right? You're not arching. Drop those shoulders, lengthen that spine. Five, two, and breathe. I'm gonna keep that dumbbell on the left. We got those obliques. Let's go. Really think about both sides of those obliques as you pull and put straight. Really open up that hip flexor. I don't know what I was doing yesterday for an exercise, but ooh. It was killing me. Breathe. Dumbbell down. Shake those arms out. Next block of work. We have some burpees. We have 30 seconds of burpees, half burpees. Step them back. Go crazy. Take them slow. We have a right side, right press to balance. So, dumbbell's gonna be in your right. We're gonna side lunge to the right and then balance. But first, we got those burpees, so put those dumbbells down. All right, and then we got right rear flies. We got 30 seconds of burpees. Let's go. Down and back. Little pop or come up to those calf raise. Step them back or pop them. Exhale those legs back. Hands are right underneath those shoulders. That's it, ladies. Come on. Come on. I know, it's Monday. Burpees on a Monday. And breathe. Now pick up that one dumbbell on the right hand. We're gonna rack it, we're gonna lateral to the right. Balance press, let's go. So in these blocks we have 30 seconds of work. And the middle exercise is that 40 seconds of work. We're gonna make you appreciate tomorrow's Tabata. Woo! Balance press. That dumbbell is far away from your body, so your balance is a little bit more challenged. Keeping those feet parallel. Woo! Two, and breathe. Keep that dumbbell in your right hand. Whew, I'm out of breath. We got a right rear fly. So drop those shoulders. Whatever you want to do with your left side to balance, it all depends on how heavy your dumbbell is. Slight bend in that elbow. Woo, dumbbell goes out. So your dumbbell should be right in line with that shoulder. So your elbow is bent. So it's a little bit behind. So as you're going up and down, ooh, you're exhaling up, bracing both sides of the obliques. Three, two, breathe, dumbbell down. All right, a couple more burpees. 30 seconds of burpees. Three, two, feet stay wide, let's go. Down, back, up. If you're feeling awake, and you can pop them, go for it. Not quite there, slow it down. It's all about the form. It's not how fast you do burpees. It's about bending those knees, hands down, feet go back, nice plank, pop them, jump. Three, two, Pick up that left dumbbell on the left. Lateral press balance. Oh, this is gonna get hard. Come on. Whew. Okay, 
those two cups of coffee is making my heart go very, very fast. I didn't even have a pre-workout, thank God. I'd probably be stroking out. Come on. Whew. Whew. Nice work, nice work. Move and breathe, you got it. Five more. And breathe. Keep that dumbbell in the left hand, we got those flies. Set those feet, drop those shoulders, hinge, slight bend, let's go. So these aren't fast. These are slow and controlled. Up and down. You should be able to wiggle those toes. Your neck is neutral with that spine, so you're not looking at the screen. I'm not looking at the screen. You should still have that fist between your chin and your chest. You got four more. One more, one more rep. And breathe. Nice work. All right. We got bands. Put your bands on. We got a little Tabata. Six little blocks. 20 seconds of work with the bands. They're gonna go right over your knees because I think we all have the hip bands. We're gonna start right off. You're gonna brace and you're just gonna go tap it back on that right side. Let's go, tap it back. So, so your feet are on those railroad tracks. Because you wanna keep that tension in the band. You wanna use those arms. Two, and breathe. We got a left march. We got left march, nice and tall. Left leg, let's go. Tap it down ever so gently, right? That is the control of the band. <coughs> nice, straight, strong spine. Two, breathe. We got that right to march. Woo. Fix those shoulders. Let's go, right march. So really brace so you're staying super straight. Come on. <laughs> Come on, two, woo, breathe. We got that left tap back. So, railroad tracks for those feet. Brace those shoulders, you're bent over just a little, let's go. Everything is stable on that right leg. You're not moving from that side. And breathe. Now we're gonna go to that right side, back diagonal. We got right and left, then we're done. Let's go, side, diagonal. So whatever you do with your hands to help you with your momentum, come on, come on. Three, oh Christmas, breathe. Left leg, we take them off. Side, back diagonal, left leg. Brace yourself. Let's go. Nice and strong on that right leg. That is all your balance. You're taking the force. Uh, that pull. You got three. Hang tight. Three, two. Okay, take the devil band off. All right, next block. We got sumo squat with that upright row. So now we got two dumbbells, nice and wide in that sumo and row. We got steamrollers with those dumbbells. Pick them up. 
nice and wide, drop those shoulders. So, sumo squat. Spine stays nice and straight. Your knees are tracked over the toes, the toes are out. Think of going corner to corner of the room. When you start bending down from that chest, that's where your squat stops. And don't feel bad if you're not going as deep. Whew. Three, two, breathe. We got steamrollers with the dumbbells. So now we're gonna hold them neutral and we're gonna drive across. So wide, let's go. So you're just rotating that upper body. Let your legs come up and over. You're just rotating your upper body so your elbows aren't coming down to reach. I know it's like human nature for them to, but try not to. Holy Toledo. Good thing I don't have heavier than seven. Three, two, breathe. Alternating curtsy hammer curl. So you alternate, you go to the right, you come up, you right curl, hammer curl. Drop those shoulders, let's go. Whatever leg you start on. Shoulders stay down and back. Elbows stay in. So, not really so much focus on those arms. I want those legs to be in good form. Spine is nice and straight. Three, two, breathe. Woo, we're back at the top. Upright sumos. Drop those shoulders. Let's go. So think about those inner thighs as you go down because they're pushing out and they're gonna try to stay out. Squeeze the cheeks at the top. Don't be afraid of that extra squeeze. Three, two, breathe. Hang on to those dumbbells. If you have to drop for a lighter dumbbell, go ahead, but we got those steam rollers. Keep them out, or, oh, neutral, neutral. Let's go. Really think about driving that knee up and gently putting it back down, right? We fight gravity. Ooh. Oh, how this one get 40 seconds? That's just wrong. Come on. Three, two, breathe. Alternating curtsy with that alternating curl. Fix those shoulders, elbows in, palms stay neutral. Let's go. It's that hammer. in motion, stays in motion. Ha, we got 42 minutes together. We're gonna stay in motion, breathe. Put those dumbbells down, shake out those hands, a little towel, a little water. We're gonna go back to that ski swing walk. And of course, I did my timer at the last minute when I was chit-chatting. So, one, only knows what's gonna happen. So we got those ski swings, right reverse lunge, right upright row, those obliques. Ooh, pick one dumbbell up. Drop those shoulders, 
Oh no, two dumbbells, ski swings. Come on, rack them, let's go. See, it's not a good workout till I screw it up. Come on, come on, that's it. My YouTubers, Danielle, Brandy, Hillary, ha, come on, come on. You're with us now too. Keep it going, you got 10 more seconds. So it always makes my nose run. Come on, three, two, breathe. Put one down, we got that right reverse lunge, upright row. Whew. Let's go. Tap that foot or come to balance with that right knee. Totally up to you. Shani and Glenda have company this morning. Not that they're sticking around and doing the workout. I tried to get my husband to do it. He'll let me know before he turns 65. I got another 364 days. Breathe. We're gonna hold that dumbbell in the right hand. We're gonna do those oblique pulls. Whew. Right leg, right arm, let's go. So I did some side lunge presses yesterday in a workout. I think we're gonna do those tomorrow because they're only 20 seconds out of clip. I think I can handle it. Woo! Come on, really drive it down. Three, two, breathe. We got ski swings. Get those feet, rack those dumbbells, let's go. Come on. Brace the core. Don't think about those arms, they're not doing anything. This is all about your glutes, hamstrings, core. Three, two, Breathe. One goes down. Left reverse lunge, left up right row. Brace those shoulders, let's go. So as you're moving that dumbbell up and down on the left side, your right side has to do some work as well, right? So keep everything nice and straight. Don't lean into it or lean away from the dumbbell to keep yourself balanced. That is all in the core, keeping that spine nice and straight. Three, two, breathe. We got left oblique pulls, rack. Ooh, let's go. So in, woo, use that right side to bank it, make it straight again. That's it. Nice job, Wanda. That's it, Shaney. Come on. Two. Nice NVD. And breathe. Oh, how are your shoulders doing? Good? I don't like it. Come on, lady. Enough. All right. So, we got burpees for 30. You know why I do burpees? You want to do slams instead? I'll give you slams. We have another 12 seconds. We got 30 seconds. Think about your form, not about the intensity or the speed. Three, I'm gonna start feet wide, shoulders down and back. Let's go, hands down. Because 
because everyone says, oh, burpees are hard. I hate burpees. Just a couple of exercises put together, executed at your own speed. Ooh, and breathe. Right side lunge, right press to balance. Pick up one dumbbell. Ooh, rack it, straighten up. Let's go. Keep those feet parallel. Feet stay parallel, sink it down on that right side. So down and put that butt back. That's where the magic happens, when you stick that butt back and then try to bring it back forward and up through that heel. Ooh. Three, two, okay, breathe. Right rear flies, delt flies, whatever you want to call them. Fix those feet, drop those shoulders, hinge, let's go. Slight bend in those elbows. So you're not jerking the dumbbell. Let that shoulder, that rear delt, do all the work. Even if you can't get it up as high, don't worry about it. Pull it up as high as you can. Maybe that's all you can do. You bring it back down nice and smooth. Whatever your range of motion is at this moment, that is what it is. Breathe. And as you keep getting stronger, it'll get better. Burpees or slams. Let's go. Come on. Okay, we will not have burpees tomorrow. At least not a lot of them. I may sprinkle a 20 second here and there. On the non cardio blocks. If you need a rest, just hold that plank and breathe. Ooh -wee. Left, side lunge, press balance, breathe, go. I know it's hard. It's hard to get that intensity up when you're working at home by yourself or on YouTube where I can't see you. Everyone works at their own pace. I'm just happy you showed up and are working for these 42 minutes. Three, two, oh, Christmas, breathe. Left rear fly. Set those feet. Set your shoulders. One hinge. Slight bend in that elbow. Exhale down. Control. This is definitely not a speed move. <sighs> Trying to keep even tension in those legs as you take whew, that core and use it for balance. Breathe. Woo! Breathe. My nose is like a friggin' faucet today. All right. Woo! We are on the core block. All right, so we got hollow hold scissors, reverse crunch, alternating V-ups, hollow hold scissors, reverse crunch, Russian twist. So make sure you have that dumbbell handy. So let's go down. We got that hollow hold scissor. So extend shoulders up, in and out on those legs. 
you're like, oh my God, I can't do it after that workout, you're just gonna come up on your elbows and get those feet so close to the floor, you're almost touching the floor with your heels. But if you can't hold hollow hold, I don't care where your arms are above. I want lower back on the floor, two, and breathe. We got reverse crunch. So that means we start in tabletop, get that tail going off and control, let's go. Up, exhale down to tabletop. So you can kind of get a little oomph on the way up, not on the way down. Brace those hands, you're gonna need them. That's a lot of weight in your lower body and breathe to control. What did I say we got? Alternating the ups. Extend, let's go. You can hold the hollow hold if you want. I'm gonna tap my heel down, shoulders stay off the floor, and I'm just gonna crunch. Keeping that leg as straight as possible. Three, two, oh, Christmas breathe. Oh God, the humidity must be like a gazillion percent today. What do we got, hollow hold scissors? Hollow hold, let's scissor them out, come on. We got less than 90 seconds of work to go. Put all of that energy into that core. That lower back is on the floor. Squeeze, focus, pray it's almost over. You got four, and breathe. Ooh, we got reverse crunch. Tabletop, let's go up, slow. Ten more. You're controlling your movement as much as you can. Do not hold your breath. And breathe. Have a seat. Get your favorite dumbbell that you kept handy. Extend those legs, heels on the floor, and knees stay nice and tall. Shoulders drop down and back. And you twist side to side. Trying to get those knuckles on the floor. You got seven more. That's it, that's it, where it's it. This is the end, the last couple of seconds. Three, two, and breathe. Have a lay down, bring those knees right into your chest, roll those ankles. Oh God, gross. Extend one leg, bring one leg over. Bending that bottom knee so you can get a little bit more of that glute stretch. Take a nice deep breath, fix your spine, put that leg back. Pick up your other and bring it on over, looking over the opposite shoulder. And put that spine nice and straight, toes in the air, hands in the air. Brace yourself, one zombie sit up. One vertebrae at a time. <clears throat> Drop those shoulders. Hinge, trying to reach those toes. So you should feel this in your hamstrings, right? Hinge. I can't reach my toes like this. Not when my shoulders are down and back. This is a deadlift position. Working those hammies. Woo. Release, come up to those feet nice and easy. Tuck that chin, roll it up. Oh yeah, sweaty Betty today. And spine, release. Oh, shoulders, roll them, roll them. Drop that arm, bring it across. Oh my God. Grab that elbow, 
So yes, we will have triceps tomorrow as well. We didn't have any triceps except for those push-ups if you did a close grip push-up. And grab that elbow, pull it back, pat yourself on the back. Ooh, we did a lot of hip flexors, so picking the up. Oh, so much pain. I don't think it's normal. And do a couple on each side. Let's go get about it. All right, nice work.